We are back with another amazing episode of Squawk Talk. What a great guest we have today. One of the best we've ever had. No, no question about it. In fact, guys, should I just tell them who's on the show this time? Yeah. We never do that. I think we should just tell them. All right. Today on the show, we have... Hi, we're back with a fantastic and superb, awesome guest. Today on the show, we have. Hi, it's me, Miss Jones. Which um, is not always. Uh, sometimes she has a nickname, but not this year. The last year. Yeah. It's, or if they come back, Jonesy. I like it. I like it too. I like it. Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna have to make. Yeah. My friends call me that too sometimes. I'm gonna have to start doing that. Um, um, so from now on, Ms. Jones is Jonesy. I like it. And what do we call me? Schnee. Yeah, Schnee. Schneider. See, some call Schneider, some Schnee. Schnee. Yes. All right. Um, Ms. Jones is an awesome teacher. We've known each other for quite a while. Yeah. Although we haven't directly worked together, we have worked together for quite a few years, which yes. is so cool. And she's just an awesome, awesome person. Um, so let's see. First of all, tell us about um, your family. Oh, wow. I have a really big family. My oh, wow. dad has nine siblings and my mom had five. So that means I have a ton of cousins. Oh, my gosh. You really do. Yeah. Um, which is great because you, you can have a big cousin party then. <laughs> right. right. Um, and I have two sisters and two brothers. Really just have an enormous family. And then you have children. I have one son named Waylon who I made. Yeah, <laughs> and then I have extra children too. Uh, right, so. that's what I—that's where I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah, I have bonus children like Louisa and Charlene and Rocky. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Yeah. So you—you you have a big family, came from a big family, and you have a big family of cousins and like a lot of family. Yeah, huge. I don't have that much. I don't, I don't have oh. that much. My wife does. My side's more like no, they're just just a couple of us. Um, that is really cool. And you are you currently teach seventh grade ELA? Yes. And last year you taught sixth grade ELA. Correct. And well, tell us about that before that. Before that, I was. What's going on with this one? <laughs> oh, going. they want me to say. So what we're getting right now <laughs> is the scoop. Oh, sorry. I went on Ms. Jones or Jonesy. True. Yes. Yes, I've also been called SJ and Dr. Jones, okay. which is an Indiana Jones reference. Right, right, which there's something where I was going to yeah, yeah. relate to that, too. Uh, what was the question? Uh, the question was, oh, your background, your teaching background. Oh, yeah. Uh, before I taught here, I taught theater, 6th, mm -hmm. 7th, and 8th grade theater, which I really loved, but I did not love having, like, two jobs in one. So it's Two, like a, three, four jobs yeah. in one, yeah. It's like having two full-time jobs, but you only get paid for one? Uh, yeah, barely that. Yeah, <laughs> and your, your friends are like, where'd you go? And your family's like, remember me? Yeah, yeah, it, it's huge. And then when you learn that other activities that stay after make almost identical money to you, ever stay after. Yeah. Yeah, they do theirs in class. Yeah, or sometimes they make more money. Yes, yes. And they have like one or two after-school things, and you have like 47 mm -hmm. Just and, in a semester. And I know you're the same. Then you tend to do stuff like Squawk Talk. Why am I doing this? The, the, the students want something. They come to you and then you do an extra thing or you, uh, or Little Fingers yeah. Theater. You have like a third thing we're doing. It's like, but maybe you do it because it's magical. It is. These guys are who's magical. Show the crew. <laughs> Show the crew. Oh, wait. Not those guys. These are not the magical ones. If they're on the show, I'm joking. They're super <laughs> magical. Yay for our crew. Yay. All right. All right. And um, I want to talk more about that uh, when we get to school. Right now, I wanted to say, uh, what are some jobs you had before teaching? Oh, my Us. gosh. Um, I have worked in restaurants for, let's see, how old am I? 32 years. Whoa. I still do. I still work in. Still work in restaurants? In, um, Isn't that hard? Catering. Work. It depends, you know, if you get really good at it, you can get the easier job. Oh, the more man. Oh, yeah. That, that's hard. It's it's always go, 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 go. It's like yeah. it's like tech week. 
every day. Yes. And that that's just too much work. Yes. Uh, um, um, before we leave this, how are we doing on time, guys? 45 minutes? 45 minutes. Whoa. Uh, Jonesy was like, um, I don't need a I, snack. I can't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so you do, you do. Um, your favorite teacher, mm. uh, Dr. Hagen? Oh, yeah, Dr. Lana Hagen, yes. Mm. And she taught you something about family that you think or fan or Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh she directed a play I was in called Brighton Beach Memoirs. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, and I played Aunt Blanche and we had a lot of uh Blanche rehearsals. Was the sister in that. Blanche was the sister, yes. yeah. And we had a lot of rehearsals where we talked about uh family and what it's like to be family and we did a lot of emotional digging. Yeah. And I told her that my grandma had recently passed and that my birthday was coming up and it would be like the first birthday that I didn't get an angel food cake with whipped cream and strawberries on top right, and jello right. inside. And she made it and surprised me. And Oh my God. And I cried at rehearsal and we <laughs> ate cake and we became a family. Oh, that. Well, we talk about she that. Said that yeah, that's that. I word. did. It's not a bad word. It's a great word. And okay, so what's funny is, so that was a mentor. She was a mentor yes. to you. And my mentor, uh, uh, there's a Richard, there was, we all read Illusion Talk Book. Mm -hmm. And the quote in there, and I thought this was so wild that yours is a theater related. Mine was theater related. Uh, it says, the bond that links your true family is not one of blood, but of respect and joy in each other's life. Rarely do members of one family grow up under the same. Yeah. And I think that is, it's exactly what you're saying. Like, this was a person who directed you. Yes. And then, but, you know, brought that familial bond through. And then she called me one day and she said, hey, uh, I'm going to come to the city and I want to take you to lunch. And we went to lunch and she said, you're going to be a theater teacher. And yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I am. I <laughs> and she said, yes. So yeah. I took she her advice. She knew you had a lot to give. She knew. I think that's what it is. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and real quick to add on to that craziness. Um, I was in a play, and the person directing me, we, we, we went out afterwards, you always go out, because like, you're going to be up like this for a while afterwards, yeah. so anyway. Um, and we were just talking, and she worked at Washington University. And I was like, well, what do you do there? Well, I'm a research assistant, it'd be boring. It's like, that is time, but what do you do? She was doing a study on a very rare blood disorder called von Willebrand's disease, and have. On Willowbrook. Like the odd, uh, and a lot of doctors don't even know it or they heard of it when they were being educated, but nobody knows. Anyway, one of those, again, like this connections, you're like, yeah, we're studying. And she was like, we're studying because there's no studies on it because it's rare. So it was crazy. It was very cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty rare. Yeah. True. <laughs> they broke the mold after me. But it was more <laughs> like, we better not do that again. <laughs> All right. I think it's time. Okay. I think we have to spill. Spell. <laughs> Tech crew. It's, been a it's while, hard. It's hard to find good help. All right. So, uh, spell. Show, show us. Let's see. Um, okay. So, Jones was nice enough. Oh my gosh, Miss Jones was nice enough to share some uh, photos from her life for me, and she's gonna oh, talk yeah. about. Them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, on the left, or sorry, stage right, my left. Right. Uh, that's my youngest brother, Jake, uh -huh. and there's my dad next to him. My dad, Big Jim Jones. Um, and that's Big my littlest. That sounds like a song. Big yeah. Jim Jones. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's my littlest sister next to me, and then that's me. So I'm oh, missing one awesome. brother and one sister in that photograph. But that's an awesome picture. Where were you? Yeah. We were just uh, my just... cousin's wedding. Oh, wow. On Where a farm. You? Awesome. Yeah. All right, next up. Yeah, I saw the silo in the back. Oh, uh -huh. uh, that's my silver team. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Shaw, Mrs. Yoss, Mr. Simpson, and Mrs. Stout. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're cool. That's a cool kids hallway down there. <laughs> silver team. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Silver team. That's what I was going to ask. That's cool. Yeah. Awesome. And it's a little. Yeah. Was it a picture of a picture? Maybe. 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 I don't know. I don't know. All right, next. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, the kid in the hat is my uh, son Waylon. Awesome. Named after Waylon like Jennings. That. He's okay. also very musical. Cool. Yeah, and then that's his sister Louisa, who I did not create, but she is also my daughter. Right. Yeah. There. So he plays music too. Yeah, he plays drums. He can play guitar. He can play bass. That, my son does all the same. Anything. Things. We'll have to talk. Yeah. yeah. How old? How old? Uh, thirteen now, and he has his own band. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have more to tell you then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, let's go to our. That's the end of the things she shared. So now we have to spin. Yes, it's time to okay. spin. Okay. All right. I don't know if you know all the things we're doing, but I'll just okay. let you give it a spin. The only thing we don't want is cheese balls. Cause okay, well, I hope it's hippo. I don't know what oh, that hungry, is. Oh, hungry, hungry but... hippo. Oh, I think it's tensies. Tensies. Tensies it is. Is that you ever dollar, tensies? Dollar dollar bills? Clapsies. I wish. <laughs> all right. You want clapsies? <laughs> what? Clapsies. Oh, pyramidsies. You pick. Clapsies or pyramidsies? Clapsies. It's where they have to clap in between everything, and then we which, have to yell at like? oh, uh, yeah, Turquoise. One. You. Which one? Clap? Clap. He just likes to yell at me because I forget to clap. So all we have to do, we have to get all I the same die. Like, so you can get all twos, all three. All ten have to be the same die. But in between every roll, you have to clap. That's all you okay. got to do. I'll roll, try. clap, pick up. You know, and you keep the ones... Oh, okay. So yeah. we're just trying to pick one number, go with it, and they all yep. get. And whoever okay. gets it. All right, tell us when it's time to go. Three, we'll dump them. Two, one. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got three ones right away. Okay. Got three threes. And I almost had three fours. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm all, I didn't do that. I was going to pick. Oh, clap, clap, clap. Clap. Oh, I should have done that. Right. I did before I rolled. Oh, I dropped one. Does that count? I'm trying to escape. Trying to escape. Hey, hey, Snyder, Snyder, Snyder. I just like the other. This one will not stop coming. Hey, I'm hey, doing hey, horribly. Hey, 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 hey. Larry, I a didn't lot. even roll yet. <laughs> I have not got one more three since I started. Oh, oh I got like. He's almost done. Three. No, I oh, one more. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh! I'm not even halfway there. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, I did it! Uh, hey, hey, I'm still not even there. Clap. I'm done! <laughs> they yell awesome. at you like that all the time? What's that? They Are do. they always yelling at you? Well, they just, I forget to clap. Too ADHD. So, anyway, just as a family game, tens of I feel like a pack of 77 cards. They're all different. One, you have to make a pyramid for a street. Yeah. Any age can. Oh, you play a lot of games, it's mm -hmm. like, well, the adults can play this. Right. This one, you can just have tons of fun. It's super fun. Even little kids can play because anybody can roll a better. All right. So next up is school. All right. So we're going to hear some more history, even though I delved. Delved? Delved. Del I don't know. Delved it. Delved it. Into that subject previously, and I shouldn't have probably, <laughs> but we didn't get very far. Because so before here, you were, well, you've been in Rockwood for how many years? Uh, eight. So five years. Well, just tell me because I'm, I'm. Okay. So before I was here, this is my second year here. I was at LaSalle Springs for five, four or five years. Okay. Now it's theater. Five years. Yeah. I would have to count the musicals to know it. <laughs> right, That's how right. I count years. Is That's exactly what I do. Yeah. The fall musical. Uh, and then before that, I was at Rockwood Valley and wildwood i was a traveling teacher they only each have a semester yeah yeah can you imagine that guys we only did one play a year because there is no theater teacher yeah that, that's I think that that. So yeah but i think it's all worked out now yeah i think they do have yeah well i don't know if rockwood valley is full-time but i know well at wildwood they just had somebody they had stages come in and do theater so i didn't even no, do theater at wildwood i taught eighth grade speech Interesting. Because I don't teach speech at all anymore. Oh, because teaching speech is so fun. <laughs> and you get all those students that are driven they to love speech. To make yeah. speeches. <laughs> it's like language arts, only they have to say it out loud. Only, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Don't want to <laughs> um, <laughs> and so you were, you taught theater, mm -hmm. and then you switched to ELA, and when you did that, you came here? Yeah. And so we got gotcha. you. 
Um, uh, so tell me, instead of just that, tell me about theater. You you've done theater for quite some time. Uh, I started when I was 26. I um, took a... Which, that's exciting and rare. Yeah. Yeah, most people... Well, you, know, you start young and then you're crap. We didn't have theater in my high school. We only had the musical, but you had to be in choir to be in the musical. And I was oh. told I couldn't sing. You can't sing. That's what they told me. <laughs> and I was like, well, I will. I'll do it. And then I, I told that choir teacher, too. I said, isn't it your job to teach me? And she said, no, I don't want to. So well, I didn't that's sing. That's lovely. I didn't go into the theater because of that. And I didn't sing in front of a crowd until I was 32. Oh. I was too afraid to. But then you could sing. Yeah, I and can sing. And she was just flat out wrong. Anybody can sing. Yeah. Well, even if the pitch can be if you yeah. were a few people. You, you could, just have to try. You just have to practice and yep. try and learn about it. Absolutely. Uh, so I was 26 and I was taking an elective. I was in Tai Chi Chuan, however you say that. So yeah. I took an elective in the theater department. And then this was back when you had a landline on your phone, you know, on your wall. <laughs> right. And Well, it was a cordless one. But uh, my phone rang at home and I picked it up and it was this guy. And he said, hey, uh, Sarah Jones, I was wondering, can you be a nurse and a horse? And I was like. Is this a prank caller? Who is this? That's really creepy. And he's like, no, no, it's Alex from Tai Chi class. And I need you to be in the play. I'm directing a play. And one of my actors just quit. Can you be a nurse and a horse? And I said, uh, <laughs> how many lines would I have? And he was like, yeah, oh, like three. I don't know. It's just a couple. And I said, okay. And that's how I got in the And theater. that was the first play you ever did. Yeah. That is so cool. And I played a nurse and a horse. And so, so what you, after you did that, just fall in love with it. Uh, right? Yeah, very cool. So, yeah. what did you do after that? Um, I uh, I auditioned for the lead. I I auditioned for the play Angels in America, and I got the lead. Really? And the theater kids were mad <laughs> because I was an yeah. English major, and they were like, "Who's this girl who comes in here and takes our lead role, the best role?" I got to play Harper and Angels. And oh. when you get older, you'll know that's like a couple. Yeah, it is. Definitely. It was great, and then I never stopped from there. Oh my god. Sing? No, I didn't sing in that. No, there's no, that. no singing. I in mixed that in one. it was a bad. I mean, because I've seen it. I don't think there's any singing. No, no I think you're right. Yeah, I, you're right. I, I don't, I'm mixing it with another. Yeah, and we did it in the black box theater, and I love the black box oh, theater. Oh, yeah, black box. Yeah, so at SIUE they have anymore. a really great one. Yeah, yeah, Very and it's right great. over the river. Yeah. That is awesome. Um, we need to talk more on all these topics. Probably not right now. Emily, how, much, how am I doing on time? <laughs> Yeah, I thought I, I was we're out thinking. Of time. All right. Um, so I wanted to ask more of that, but I think we're just going to go to um, survey. So you're going to tell us thumbs up, thumbs down, what you think of some different things I bring okay. up. Did we survey it? Kira, did we survey it? Yes, All right. Uh, so we're going to. Doom, doom, doom. I always find the wrong. Okay. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Five random things. It's an interest. Oh my gosh, these are they're weird today. All right, worms. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, no. Thumbs down. <laughs> That's a. I don't know. Caterpillars. Uh, uh, they make butterflies. So yay. <laughs> okay, and they're cuter. They're way they cuter. They are though. cuter. Yeah. There's so little slime. Yeah. And oh, pop music. Mm, Taylor Swift. Yes. Everything else. No. Everything else. I just don't like pop music. Yeah, I'm not a big. The eighties pop I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it yeah, was yeah. it was more di diverse. Yeah. It wasn't all the same. Um, and let's see, pasta. Oh yes, all the time. And finally, rap music. Yes. Oh, music ones on there. Yeah. So intriguing. All right, and now this or that. Okay. Trade you. Right. Okay, so that and this. Yeah, they kind of it goes. To... There you go. Yep, yep. All right, this is first, and that is second. So, okay. fantasy or superheroes? What would you prefer? Uh, superheroes. Superheroes. I'd go the other way. I don't, I don't know. Neither of my are my favorite. Though. I like fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. So does superheroes. That can be kind of stressful. They though. always end up in. Destroy. They're gonna destroy the earth. Yeah. True. Every time. All right, giraffes or penguins? Uh, penguins. Penguins. Yeah. Penguins. They don't. I, they don't really spit on you a lot. 
Did giraffes spit? I think they spit. I thought it was camels that spit. Okay, well. They do. They do. It's true. And marshmallows. All right, when you have marshmallows and you cook them over the fire, you want them burnt or not burnt? Oh, not burnt. Not burnt. Okay. If we had burnt, yeah. It's no. all burnt. Um, uh, I like them a little crispy, but not blackened. But mm-hmm. I'll eat them anyway. And build a snowman or a sandcastle? Uh, sandcastle. That means I get to go to the beach. There you go. There you go. And how do you like your eggs? Scrambled or fried? Oh, is there a both? Oh, both. Both. Eggs. All eggs the eggs. Awesome. Cool. All right. I'm going to ask you one more thing here. Let's see. I asked about that. I wanted to hear about. Oh man, I'm getting yelled at. All right. I want to hear the uh, swinging on a rope <sighs> story. Okay, so I yeah. yeah, I really scared my sixth graders last year because I told them about this time that I thought I was Indiana Jones and I acted. <laughs> because- in- yeah, because because last, last name, yeah. yeah, same last name. You could do all the things. And I'm a product of the '80s, so um, I told them about when I was a kid. I didn't have a lot of friends, and I went one day to the playground across the street from my house, the mm-hmm. grade school, and I went to play by myself. And I took my jump rope, and I had just seen the Indiana Jones movie that was out that year. And so I decided it'd be a good idea to tie my jump rope to the top of the fireman's pole on the timber town, <laughs> and then the other half around my waist. Oh my god. Yeah, I was. I mean, like math. So then I, <laughs> then I jumped off, and the rope went. Ugh. And we were hanging. Yeah, and I was hanging there, <laughs> and I acted this all out like I stood on the table in my classroom and acted it all out for the sixth graders, and they were like, "This crazy lady." <laughs> uh, but they remembered my story, and yeah, so I yeah, I had to like inch myself back up the fireman's pole and untie myself. Really? Yeah, which really I had only taken, knocked the wind out of myself, really. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, because it was under my ribs. Yeah, and we're so young. It's not the same as anything as you get older. That was a smooth move, Dr. Jones. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) exactly. Exactly. Well, that's an awesome story. Yeah. And I want to talk to some. (laughs) And I survived, so. Yes, absolutely. It was so awesome having you on the show. And just, I felt terrible. Every time I see him, I'm like, oh, my gosh, hi. And hi. Then, I mean, yeah, never see each other. So, anyway, so Ms. Jones is amazing. Let's give a shot of the crew on the crew cam. Yay. Yay. Shot of the crew. Shot of the crew. Oh, You're oh running it. Oh, you. my gosh. She was busy Yay. posing. Hey, so <laughs> All right, guys. Every Sunday at 4, they need to watch what? Squad Talk. On www. E-R-A-M-A. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Squad Talk.